Test dummies, we're back with the third bracket. Actually, we're uh, need to Hey, it's Scotch Test Dummies, we're back with the third bracket of the Pete Strikes Back. We got four unknown Scotch whiskeys out of 16 in front of us. And some hats. What are we gonna do? We'll test it. <laughs> Let's test it. Boom. You guys, some of you people were missing that in the other bracket, the right. other shootout. Yeah, they were like, they were like, where the heck's that? Okay, you guys know that March Pete Madness led to the Pete Strikes Back, which will lead to Make America Pete slash Pete it again. Make America Pete again. And uh, we've got four unknown whiskeys. Bart's poured mine. I've which poured his. Which has never really been peated. America, that is. I know. Whoa, I thought you had full spillage. Oh, so, yeah, these uh, plastic dip Glen Cairns don't slide really. They don't. 121, 124, 125, 126. 27, 128, or 127, 128, 129, one dirty. Ooh, one dirty. And the reason for the break in some of the numbers is some people uh, will order their successive coins. So, obviously, I'm missing 122 and 23. All right. This is bracket three. Hold on. Three, do a number trace. thing so you can throw it up. Three. Bracket trace. Three. See, I'm doing my three different. I figured I'd be different. I need, I need three of you guys to come up here. Three. I need three volunteers. Three. So we're going into bracket three. So far, everything seems milder than than our very first. Peak. Uh, maybe. Well, and this is the first. I think bracket two was definitely bracket eight. For the bracket first bracket one was, was underwhelming to me. I wouldn't say underwhelming. To me underwhelmed. It was on par. Par mm -hmm. for the course. No, it was not par. Yeah. Par. Bracket for two. Oh, a couple of them exceeded. Bracket three, let's see what we got. Back. I'm going into my A. It's going into the A. Woo! Medicinal, smoky, mm. ocean, mm. Mm. iodine, mm. creosote. Wow. Strong, that's high ABV. Well, you got a, a 1775. That's straight tavern. from, actually, it was 1775 after 12 p.m. <laughs> Eastern time. That's right. Poor Richard's almanac was being read at the bar. That's tying to Ben Franklin. Wow. I get a, uh, a sweet sherry peat. The fruit just bubbles up out of it. The smoky, sooty, tarish peat. I wanted to sip it right there. A lot of dark fruits there. A lot of mm. dark fruits. Ooh, B brought in a salty moss. Mm. Hmm. Earth, pea, darker. I get a brine solution. I get a, uh, I get a slight fish. A seaweed. I'm at the coast. Could be the Kelpie. <laughs> Which isn't in this one. <laughs> Bracket one. Mm. Seaweed, salt, ocean breeze. Uh, fresh laid asphalt. Right on the coast. Mm. In 1880. In the spring. <laughs> uh, I, I threw out 1880 because there was no asphalt then. <laughs> C. 
iodine, earth, creosote, this bad boy strong. Hmm. Knotted wood. I don't know what that means. This one had a very pronounced, different note at first. Not sure what it was. Almost like a. I don't, I don't even know what it was. It was different. Pirate ship. Rich. It's dark. No, I'm thinking more like. <laughs> mudded flowers. Bam. Kind of. Mudded flowers. I like that. <laughs> That's floral with earth. Hmm. Like a like a nice meadow full of flowers and a big old four by four truck went mudding through there and threw mud all over those nice flowers. You're learning, Padawan. <laughs> That's good alliteration. A beautiful prairie filled with flowers, and then yeah. here comes the mud truck. <laughs> <laughs> And, blah, the dirt's blah, 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 blah. and then then you're left again in a quiet prairie going i got it you put me there captain description <laughs> i don't know you moved a major <laughs> that was good though i get it all that made sense to me mudded flowers you That's mudded how you flowers you mudded flowers. yeah all right d first of all that was beautiful what you did there <laughs> D feels like a more traditional peat. Uh, I get a little bit more of the uh, the dark earth, an iodine. Not so much of a smoke as is a the, that sweet sour earth. Hmm, that one's good. Just about the same. All I got is. <laughs> you just picked like a nice meadow. You can you see know, it. Yeah, you're like, it is great. And then here There's comes. A breeze. Yeah. And then big foot yeah. comes throwing right. through there. A couple of them. They're yeah. racing and they're just tearing it up. And you're like, oh my. And then they're gone. And you're left with that smell. D is medicinal iodine. <laughs> That's dummy's magic. Or if it's high, this is a high ABV one. Hmm. I'm going to sip some A. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Mm. Wow. Rich. Peat. Sherry, maybe. Wow. Dark Tang sweetness. Wow. Tangy. Sweet. Raw. Touch of seaweed with sugar, a lot of sugar. It's like a, a salt, a, a sugared salt water taffy with smoke. Hmm. A little bit of salt water, I get the taffy, but not the rest. Wow. This is rich, but sweet, very good. Not that high at ABV. Maybe I mean maybe forty six to forty eight. Very good. You drinking water? Mm -hmm. Preempted me. Thank you. I want to refresh and get that seaweed out. Go into my beef. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. Well, I get dusty hardwood floor. Like an old saloon with mud on it. <laughs> sour. A sour fruit. A sour apple. I'm not digging it. Definitely got a sour apple in there. My bee is good too. I'm gonna add a little. It's higher. I'll bring it down no, a little bit. Just got a bit of tangerine and maybe kiwi. Wow. That that might be interesting on its own. Wow, tropical fruits. Okay, tropical fruits. Throws me though. Throws me. Good. A's a little sweeter. Throws me. A little lower in the ABV. Mm. Gosh darn, B is good too. Mm -hmm. Not quite as sweet. Not quite as much underneath 
trying to rise to the top. More straightforward. C is a peat, a dry peat bog. It's astringent. It's earth and smoke. It's savory. Velvety on the cheek. Finishes lingering leather. Hmm. B is very good. Pipe tobacco. Wow. Smooth. Both good finishes. It's a little higher. I've added water to it. Got a nice finish. Nice finish there. A, I get a little bit more of the seaside, the salt, the brine, darker, richer, sweeter. Mmm. Whoa. Whoa. C, more vanillas. Holy moly, D, high, high ABV. Powerful burst up front. We're going to water that one down a little bit. Spicy. It's got to be the ABV. Smoke. Mm. Oh, a. Charcoal. I'm going to put a couple drops in there. Try to bring that one down. Mm. That one's strong. Those are both very good. That's a hard one to choose right there. Wow. A, I think, is bringing a little bit more on the palate. A little bit more mouthfeel. Richer, mm. sweeter, darker, sweeter. Mm. A little palate cleansing here. Mm. They taste a little younger, a little less aged, a little more subtle on the peat. The finish is nice, fruity, but it's soft. I'm not going to rule it out, but I don't know. Looks like it's down. Between These are the, tough. There's some good ones in here. I've got one that seems to be very, very high ABV. I'm hoping I've tamed it. Going on to my C. Hmm. Lower ABV, a lot of, oh, there's some van vanillas. There's also some, I just want to say medicinal type, of sterile notes. Mm. Mm. Maybe younger. My, uh, my C seems like a, a, not perfectly, but an extremely well-crafted peat. It feels a little older. The wood influence shifting into the peated smoke, giving it that lovely oaken flavor with the peat. It's almost like that that oak is on fire with stirred by peat moss. What's interesting is this this is probably gonna be my go-to because it feels like it hits those strong standard smoked peat notes. However, Let's see what happened here. A little bit of a sour wood oak coming through on my C. Moving into my D. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Mm. D is kicking C's butt. D is it is higher. Down. Yeah, we might have the same <laughs> one. I'm gonna add some water. I gotta bring that one down a little bit, but I'm, I'm pretty another, sure. Give me another bump. I'm pretty sure it's still gonna be. See, there's a lot more flavor packed into D. I am going to agree. I don't know if we got we the, same the same one, yeah. but it's my D, strong, high ABV, a lot of flavor. I'm a big fan of cash strength. This feels like it's a power burst. I don't want to shortchange C because it's right there, traditional wise. C is lower ABV, mild, medium peat, a mm. little bit of a sour wood to it, Damn, that's good. 
D I've added a splash of water to. She's got a nice, lovely peat to sweet finish. Mm, peat to mm, sweet. Mm. I see. Woo! D is God, good. Man, that is solid. That is solid. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and it's still, I've added a little bit of water. It's still a little strong. All right. I'm down. I've got my A. Wow. <laughs> against my D. That's got to be the same one. D, even though I brought it down, and it's not just that it's high ABV, although it's mm -hmm. that. It's that there's a, even though I've really watered it, there is a punch of flavor. It is a smokehouse. It is salted meat. Gives me a hint of hickory bacon. Just a, a bonfire in July. <laughs> <laughs> I added that, that little tidbit. Wow. Uh, so number one for me is clearly going to be D with a really strong, solid number number two for C. I mean, that is a, a really solid go-to. The odd one here is this B with these fruity, mm -hmm, tropical fruit. That's probably my, my A right there. I'm getting that Slight sour grape, white That's grape. Good. I mean, it is good. Just when we're in this mix, the fruity flavors don't appeal to me as much as the dark earth. That is that is good though. That's a good tropical fruit. That's tasty. It just it's not right. going to be able to, to rise. Yeah, above. boy, that's that's the one bracket where one stood out, and that's D, my D. All right, your D is number. 13. Let's see what right there. Th okay, there it is. So there's yours. That's mine. Now my D Which, is that be, what you're calling yeah. here? Your 13. Boom. See? We called that one right. So we both advanced the same one. That is just good. Okay. So this is your number one. Wow. That's a good one right there. Alright, what is uh what is my C? Bottle number nine. Bottle number nine. Right there. That one? Right there. It's number two for me. Uh, that's Is that C, your C? Or wait. That is, is my your C? C. Right? My C. Yeah, why am I looking at the bottom? My C <coughs> is number two. Excuse me? Or what is your number two? My number two is A. All right. So we both advanced... Bracket number three, we both advanced uh, or bottle number 13. Bottle number 13, we don't know what it is, but we're going to scotch it. You scotch guys. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies.